Hey there, this is Marin with Quip Customer Education. Today, we're going to talk about notifications and some tips for success. Every ding of your phone and dot on your app icon represents an email that didn't have to get sent and isn't cluttering up your inbox. Notifications are simple, swift, automatic, and essential to getting work done as a team. There are five different places you can get updates about what's going on in Quip. Your desktop, your phone, Quip's notification bell, Quip's update feed, and your email too, just in case. Typically, you'll receive a notification when someone at mentions your name in a doc or chat, at mentions everyone in a doc or chat, adds you to a document, folder, or chat, responds to one of your comments, comments on an edit, or likes a comment or chat, requests for access to a doc you're part of. You'll also get tasks for dates you've been assigned to. To manage your notification settings, you'll find the main settings panel in your account menu here. There are separate settings for notifications that come through on your computer's desktop, your mobile phone, and your email. You can enable your settings to be notified only for activity about you, all new activity, or no new notifications at all. You can also set notifications for individual documents and chats. This is particularly helpful when working with documents that you access constantly. For example, you can set up notifications for your team's project planning document to make sure you stay on top of any changes to the projects your team is working on, even if your holistic notification settings are turned off. Similarly, you can set notifications for chats that you visit frequently, for example, your boss, colleague, or team chat. And don't worry, if you turn off notifications, you'll still see all the docs that are shared with you in the Updates tab. The Updates tab is a catch-all. Here, you can see what all of your colleagues are up to on any shared document. You'll see all the edits, comments, and new messages.